Hey, how are you? Uh, thank you so much for those who watched my video yesterday. Uh, I appreciate uh, your feedback and I appreciate all your messages. Uh, welcoming back. Uh, I don't know. I know that I was able to connect with people that I haven't been able to connect for a long time and it really brought me so much joy being able to to do so. So thank you so much and thank you for uh, to the new sur subscribers. Uh, you know how, how that work uh, and I will appreciate for those who uh, want to watch the video I want to subscribe because it's a way to support uh, the cause so please do so for the person who subscribe the thousand person who subscribe I'm gonna have a surprise for for you so uh, that's gonna be an incentive to, to do for you to do so so for those of you who do know who I am uh, well my name is Carlos and uh, I was a priest and, and the Diocese of Baltimore and for, for some reasons I am not in ministry and I will share with you a little bit about that but before that I want also to share with you what I'm cooking today I am gonna try to make some pasta um, I love pasta so I start heating the water already to make the pasta uh, but I'm gonna make my own sauce uh, which is a combination of a lot of things, you know, uh, the kitchen is about uh, creativity and some people say, oh, I don't know how to cook, but you know how to identify when a meal is salty and greasy or uh, without flavor, then you will be able to do wonders in the kitchen. And so far I haven't poisoned anyone yet in the kitchen which that's good. Uh, so I uh, fit, I fed a lot of people so far and no one has been in the hospital for what I have been making. So it's encouraging. <laughs> anyway, so some of the feedback that I got uh, from yesterday's video, especially for those who haven't seen me in a long time, was about uh, how I made the transition from being in public ministry to just live a normal life. Uh, and I said yesterday in the video that there's not supposed to be, there is not supposed to be a public confession, uh, but I feel that I need to share a little bit about, about it. Um, and again, uh, this is, and, and my hope is that we treat each other with respect. Uh, just that I mentioned that if some people are gonna judge you, they don't deserve to be in your life. You feel judged by people. And that's how I feel by many people and for a long time, especially when I had to leave ministry. So how was the transition? So for many of you heard the news that, and the news read, uh, that the Archdiocese of Baltimore suspended my faculties for being involved in inappropriate relationships with adult, adults. And I had to make that clear. It was adults. Um, so, as you can imagine, that was devastating for me. Uh, my first feelings was shame and uh, embarrassment. And uh, I just hide it. I was uh, in a state of mind that no one wants to be in that situation. Because the way that it was published, you know, for some of you that has read the history in the Old Testament, hear that in the Old Testament when people had leprosy, they uh, usually put a belt or they had to carry a belt and they had to announce to people around them that they were impure. And every time they get close to people, they had to yell, impure, impure, or unclean, unclean. And basically that's how I felt uh, after all this news. I felt that everywhere I was going, I was screaming without doing so, impure, impure. Uh, 
people that used to be friends with me feel betrayed and they didn't want to do anything with me. So, first of all, I was talking about yesterday that this channel or my messages is going to be about, uh, about relationships. And there were a lot of broken relationships with that because people felt that I, I lied to them, uh, they feel betrayed, and you know, I don't want to excuse myself for what I was doing or did, um, and I'm not going to say any anything else, but as a human person, it is very difficult. So I was depressed. I was depressed, I thought that it was the end of the world. Within that process, I broke a lot of relationships. I broke trust with people that put the trust in me and loved me unconditionally. And I had to rebuild that trust. And I still um, having some uh, struggles about it. How can someone jump from the altar to do a another job? Uh, I don't know how I did it, but I'm just thankful for the people who were by my side right away and that didn't judge me. And I think that for me it was so important, not being judged. <laughs> One of the comments that I heard right after I left the church was that, uh, especially by people from church, you know, I, I never feel judged by my friends that were not in church. So, first of all, I'm going to fry the tomatoes uh, and I'm going to put a lot of garlic because food without garlic doesn't taste well. And I'm going to fry also some onions. You're probably going to say, wow, my God, what is he making? Well, uh, thankfully, I'm cooking just for myself. So, if it tastes bad, well, I... I can deal with that. So going back to this story, um, when I when I left, my the people that welcomed me in their home uh, were the people that I was not in contact with, and they did that unconditionally, and uh, they judged me, and that's how it started. Because you know, I always believe that God will never abandon you. Especially if he has called you to do something important, they will not abandon you. So I'm gonna chop the the, uh, kitch, the chicken that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna put in the pasta. And I think I'm gonna start boiling the pasta at this point. Um, I put some uh, bottle, which is tastes good. People say that things with, um, how you call it? with 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 bacon tastes better but I will say things with bottle taste better it's not the most healthy things by the way and I'm trying to be healthy but anyway so thanks to my friends uh, I'm gonna mention a little bit people in Boston thank you to my friends over there uh, you really helped me so much in a difficult situation in my life uh, they they allow me. They br they brought me to their house. Uh, they fed me, and they cry with me as well. And that's how I started. Then I had to face people people who sent me hateful messages. And this is not for you to uh, to have pity for me. I'm just you know I'm in a better place, and I'm just sharing my story how I start building new relationships, how I start rebuilding relationships with people that I broke those relationships, that I broke trust, and uh, how my relationships with the diocese uh, became, because it was a lot of tension. Um, I was hurt. Uh, the diocese was hurt when they uh, learned about my ungodly behaviors. Uh, and so, of course, you always try to 
how you call it, um, defend yourself. And um, it's not the point. The point is to accept responsibility. And that's what I'm doing. And also raising our awareness of what we do and uh, how we rebuild ourselves. Because I had to rebuild myself. I was doing something that I thought I was going to do for the rest of my life. And then to some point, that's going away. So <laughs> I have to reveal myself again. And that's the, the interesting part. Because during that process, I was not alone. So oh, I'm going to put some mushrooms as well. So within the chicken that I am frying along with the tomatoes and the onions and the garlic and I'm gonna put a little bit of cumin I'm sorry I'm gonna put a little bit of garlic herbs which it tastes better and I haven't seen this recipe anywhere who cares about it I at some point just get that it tastes well so anyway I went to stores yesterday I got a lot of good spices and this is organic which much better for you than the things that you find that are not organic uh, okay and you see I don't measure things I just put it in the pot and keep cooking so when this is done, I'm gonna put, uh, I'm gonna make a little bit of uh, good stuff. So I'm gonna put vodka in here, a little bit, or not too little, anyway. That's gonna give good flavor. So I'm gonna put twice, because this one is gonna be evaporated by the heat but I'm gonna let this sit a little bit. At this point, I'm gonna put also the pasta to boil. So I'm gonna cook a little bit, or a lot, because, well, I work, and I there's gonna be lunch for tomorrow as well. So, Never, 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 never break the pasta. So just let it, it's gonna sit down. Uh, I'm sure if an Italian see me cooking this, it's gonna say, what is he doing? But listen, this is not about me cooking, this is not me about, about giving you a message. So after I put the vodka in here, I'm gonna put a little bit of heavy cream. It's gonna give a good flavor and it's gonna make it a little bit sticky. Um, gonna put some salt because I haven't put salt in it. So, so not, one of the comments that I heard was, oh, God is purifying the church. You know, and especially, I heard those comments from people that were close to me. And I was thinking about if God is purifying the church, the church is going to be empty. Because what about those people who go for confession every, every Sunday or every Saturday or every so often? God just give us freedom, choices. We make good decisions and bad decisions. What we do with that? What do we do with that? Well, if we make good decisions, it takes you to a different path. If you make bad decisions, God will always rescue you. And that's that's what I, I I learned. So, going back, I have to rebuild myself. I have to start believing in myself again. And I start doing a different project in my life. Uh, what is it what I want to do with my life? Yesterday someone asked me that question. What are you doing with your life? 
which is I want to be able to keep, you know, inspiring people for the things that I, I know how to do. I want to be able to communicate messages. Yesterday I said that I was not going to bring controversy, but sometimes to communicate a good, a good message, you had to somehow bring controversy. And it, that's okay, but we had to bring controversy with respect. And if we bring controversy with respect, we always can get to from point A to point B. So after more than eight months being, you know, hiding, being afraid to what people is gonna say, um, I start, you know, going out, um, and now filming these videos. Again, some people are gonna be or gonna agree with me. Some people won't, and that's okay. Again, this is to tell you that if we recognize who we are and we are able to put all the pieces together when they are broken, that's gonna be the point. And also not being afraid to reach out when we need help. Don't be afraid to ask for forgiveness when we have done something wrong. And keep moving forward. It's fine to go back to the past, but not living from the past. Because then it's gonna be very hard for you to discover and uh, re-encounter within yourself. So this is for now. I'm gonna finish cooking in here and then I'm gonna show you the last product. Okay, this is the final product of my cooking. Um, at least it tastes good, I can guarantee you that. Well, I was talking about my own experience, but as I said yesterday, uh, let's not make this about me, just a little bit. But um, when sometimes go down south, and the way that you do so, don't expect, what is it that you do? What can we do to overcome depression, to overcome shame, to overcome embarrassment, to overcome the feeling of powerless, being powerless, to overcome the feeling of being rejected or being worthless, so as I said and I mentioned, we have to re-encounter with ourselves who we are, what is our identity. Then you have to see what are the tools that you have, what are the people that you have around that can help you not to go further down, but to reach out for you and pick you up. That's the people that you need to have in your life, that the people to deserve or you deserve to have in your life. So don't feel in powerless or, you know, sometimes that's so wrong. I just did it so wrong because when you say don't, it's just you're entitled to how you feel, but reach out. Don't feel outcast. Our mistakes sometimes defines us but cannot define your future or cannot define our future because you can define you can trace you can design your future in the way that you want you fight for it you stand up for it it's not impossible trust build trust and for me trusting in god has been so important because that's who I pre that's what I preached for many years, more than seven years of my life. And that's what I believe. Trusting in God. Not so much in the institution, but God. 
God is the one who will guide you, comfort you, and no matter what, you have so much value on his own eyes. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope I communicate a clear message to you. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be talking about relationships again. But this relationship is going to be when we're going to date, when we are dating, and how that works, struggles, the things that you do, the things that you should not do, and so forth and so on. So please keep watching. Uh, stay in tune with me. You know that I have surprises for subscribers. Keep subscribing on my channel and keep supporting the cause. Uh, thank you so much. And please stay in tune because there is a lot of things that we have to talk and there is a lot of things that we can learn and grow together. All right. Goodbye and thank you so much. See you next time.